Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kevin's Garage. Today we're going to be putting this hydrofoil on a 15 horsepower outboard motor. Alright, before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's do this. So here we have the Stingray Classic Junior. It is rated from 9.9 .9 to 40 horsepower. So inside the package you will find these four rubber washers, these four bolts, and these four nuts along with the hydrofoil. Okay, so the first thing you are going to want to do is to measure how wide the lower unit is on your outboard. We are going to cut the hydrofoil accordingly because of that. So in my case, I need to take a half inch off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Start by removing these two screws. Hydrofoil then comes apart. <laughs> So one thing I recommend doing is taking a little blade to these holes right here. They do have a little bit of plastic kind of mushed out from inside. So doing that will ensure a better fit between the top and bottom half. Okay, so now we are going to mark the holes where they go on the lower unit of the outboard. So we take this and put it on there. We want to make sure everything looks measured up so this is centered and then we'll stick a screwdriver down there or an awl and poke a little hole so we can see where it's all lined up and then take it off and we'll take measurements to where each of those are to make sure that it is exactly where we want it to be you do want this centered you don't want it kinked off one way or another so center as much as possible so i made little dots right where everything is going to be and now I can measure to make sure that everything is centered and it is within the proper clearance that the package indicates because it needs to be a certain distance away uh, to keep the edges from cracking or corroding. It's measured out on where I need to drill and they are perfect. So I am slightly nervous about drilling into this lower unit. Um, it's such a clean motor and it really is like, ah, drilling holes into something that looks so good and like works so fine. But it's something that you're going to have to get over when you do this. So let's do this. So we will test fit to make sure it all lines up. Okay, so now our hydrofoil is ready to install. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the nuts that were included with the kit and place them inside the little indents. Then we're gonna place these rubber O-rings over the holes. You can then set the fin on top and put the screws in from underneath. There are two different sizes of bolts that come with this kit, short bolts and long bolts. Short bolts will go in the front, long bolts will go in the back. And here we are. We are all ready to bring this guy out on the water. Thanks for watching another episode of Kevin's Garage. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you next time.